Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be talking about hydrogen ion movement ATP formation, the difference in both charge and H positive ion concentration across the membrane provides the energy to make ATP. Hydrogen ion movement and ATP formation are processes that are critical for cellular energy production. Within the mitochondria, the electron transport chain, the ETC, orchestrated a series of redox reactions, propelling electrons through protein complexes embedded in the inner mitochondrial membrane. As electrons pass through the ETC, energy is harnessed to actively transport hydrogen ions positive hydrogen across the membrane, establishing an electrochemical gradient. This proton gradient serves as a potent energy source, driving the rotational of ATP synthesis and enzyme complex embedded in the membrane. ATP synthesis utilizes this rational energy to catalyze the synthesis of ATP from ADP. And inorganic phosphate in a process called oxidative phosphorylation. Ultimately, the flow of hydrogen ions through ATP synthesis power the conversion of ADP to ATP, the primary energy currency of the cell enabling vital cellular processes to occur. Then, the light-dependent reaction summary. The light-dependent reaction produces oxygen gas and convert ADP and NADP positive into the energy carriers ATP and NADPH. In photosynthesis, the light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membrane of chloroplasts and our initial steps in converting light energy into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH. These reactions involve several key components. We have photosynthesis 2 and photosynthesis 1. Electron transport chain, chains and ATP synthase, the process begins with PS2 absorbing photons of light exciting electrons which are then passed along an electron transport chain, releasing energy used to form protons into the thylakoid lumen. This establishes a proton gradient across the membrane, driving the synthesis of ATP by ATP synthesis through chemoosmosis. Meanwhile, electrons lost from PS2 are replaced by water molecules releasing oxygen as a byproduct in a process known as photolysis. We are going to talk about this much more during the week.